Hello and welcome to Weekly World News. Can Marine Le Pen actually win? No sooner had Marine Le Pen taken to the stage to greet her adoring supporters than the rest of the French political system was already moving against her. As Le Pen spoke of it being the time to free French people from arrogant elites, those who she had spent her entire campaign scolding were pledging their support to her presidential rival Emmanuel Macron. If their voters heed the calls to unite behind Macron, this will be his election to lose when he and Le Pen go head to head on May 7th. With 97% of the votes counted, the 39-year-old independent centrist is topping the first round of voting with 23.86% to Le Pen's 21.43%. 0.43%. As supporters of his In March movement, Francois Fillion and socialist Benoit Hamon urged their own followers to back Macron. Their backing would give Macron who would become the youngest man to lead France since Napoleon, a theoretical majority big enough to Le Pen with an almost impossible task. In a word, no. French election polls have proved reliable in the past and they were accurate again this time around, with Macron and Le Pen qualifying for the second round as predicted. And three polls have given Macron a 20-point lead over Le Pen going into the runoff. While many newcomers to French politics may be surprised at the presence of a far-right candidate in the final two, most seasoned observers were expecting such a scenario. It is not the first time a far-right candidate has progressed to the runoffs. In 2002, Le Pen's father and founder of the National Front, Jean-Marie Le Pen National Front, Jean-Marie Le Pen, made it through to the second round before losing to Jacques Chirac. The real shock is that this election has seized in Macron's ascent to the top without the backing of a traditional party of his own. The Republicans and their candidate Francois Fillion were hampered by a number of scandals which led to calls for him to stand down. On the left, Benoit Hamon, the Socialist Party candidate, managed to notch up just 6.4% of the vote a poor result given his party's president, Francois Hollande, is currently in power. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching.